somehow. And this time around, we're going to be, it looks like, Inkling versus Yoshi. Now, <laughs> Yoshi is a character that I personally am very well familiar with. Uh, and this is a matchup that I myself have seen and played quite a bit. So I'm excited to see how that Slade, that's right. We've actually seen some great, great results from Slade. Uh, it's been a while since I've seen him on the stream here, but uh, I'm really excited to see how he performs the movement with Yoshi just yeah, and I mean, Dave Pia is absolutely no stranger as we see kind of the Dave classic. Uh, Dave oftentimes uh, landing with these rollers as that's what he's been looking to do, uh, especially with these platforms. He's he's trying to run off of them and here comes on another rollers. But Slade playing around these platforms equally well, kind of approaching with the egg lay and making up for plenty of damage. Missing the, uh, missing the Yoshi bomb, but still manages to cover himself by going air to air with Dave. Yet again, falling off the platform. Oh, I love the platform movement too. Like he's really making Dave come to him, and another up tilt if one of these lands. But now Dave's still keeping sharp, holding shield, and finding the punish afterwards. Uh, Inkling's jab super quick, and that plenty of reward if they get the chance. Yeah, and I think another reason for staying on the platform on top of the movement oh, uh, is the fact that Inkling Roller is a pretty dangerous option. And if you are basically committing yourself to being up on the platform, there isn't really the danger of getting caught by it and dying to an up smash. He's extremely early. Yeah, that's certainly fair, but... I uh, not even but, that's just completely fair. It's trying to stay around these platforms, stay in the air as Yoshi tends to do is a, a huge benefit for not only the character but in the counterplay as well like you're gonna force uh dave to start trying to hunt for grabs as long as you're like threatening threatening to shark him and in the air and uh and out damage him because of it because how many times have we seen slade like be inked in this matchup like it's been a couple splotches here and there but nothing too crazy and with dave out of ink like, it's gonna be it's going to be rough to find this kill or even find the damage to get him into kill percent as Inkling's... Oh, Inkling's <laughs> dead. Inkling's gone. <laughs> I don't know. What's there more to say is than what a phenomenal read from Slade. Yeah, just studying. And I really like the fact that these lower percents, Slade is just going for the reliable combo starters. Those up tilts, those F tilts. Even when he's on the platform, you see that his the options that he chooses uh, really do change as the percents start to rack up on uh, this inkling. And with 119%, I will say, Yoshi has one of, if not the best disadvantage states in the game. And being at ledge, I mean, he's eating quite a few of these uh, these bombs right now, but oftentimes you can just get off of, uh, from off stage for free. Yeah, this is a... <laughs> High percents like that. Once, uh, once Yoshi is out of the double jump, uh, out of the upper up air range, uh, which gets even harder because of that double jump armor. I, it's notoriously hard for Inkling to find those kills. Meanwhile, Slade is just starting to swing and calling out the roll with the down smash. Is, I mean, do we get to see it again? No, just evolving his setup ever so slightly. It's a good starter from Dave, but he respects the armor yet again, cuts his combo short, and, and by short, I mean still gets 44, so that's kind of the power of Inkling. But uh, ooh, didn't go for up air, instead looking for back air, and Dave gets by with an air dodge, and still gets by, challenging the air with a dash attack, but that will do it. Yeah, just clean up, yeah. smash out of shield. And as we move on into game two, we have to start thinking about state effects, and I would be shocked if FD was not banned from Slade. But still, we saw what a huge difference those platforms made and those platforms at that height specifically. Uh, I've also seen Slade do perform similarly on Smashville. So first of all, I don't think you want him to go back to PS2. And probably Smashville is another stage you don't want to be messing with. If Kalos wasn't banned, we maybe would see Kalos. The platforms there are at least a little bit more awkwardly positioned so that he can't, like, because he was doing all this crazy platform movement and basically still operating in neutral. You know, those platforms are pretty centralized on the stage itself. Um, oh, another, another part of this is that it can be really hard to find kills on Yoshi, but just like how, um... Just like how Slade is kind of fishing, you know, like at these low percents, he's going like fishing for up tilts, that sort of thing. 
uh, if you are uh, the Inkling, uh, I'm blanking out on the name because it disappeared and I have a Dave terrible, Create. Terrible... What was that? Dave Create. Dave Create? Dave Create. Dave Create. Okay. Um, if you're Dave Create, maybe start fishing yourself. Like, really focus on, okay, how am I going to get the grab at the percents where up through up air will connect? How am I going to really look for a roller when I need to? And just start really, like, like focus your mind on the win condition. How to play to those win conditions. Not going to be easy against Yoshi. The fact that he is so aerial based means that a lot of the ways that you can play around certain characters, just, you're not, you're not going to have the potential to do that. Uh, so it's a matter of engineering and conditioning, especially at those earlier per figure out a ways basically to make him forget what he really should be looking out for when it, when the time act. Yeah, he was already doing a pretty decent job in defensive situations where he wouldn't give a Slade the roles that he wanted to scout out. He wouldn't give the jumps he wanted to start to scout out. He would wait for Yoshi to do his one of two options to beat shield that being the uh, the normal grab or the command grab both of which are decently reactable if not just a much easier punish to work with than any of yoshi's aerials or combo starters so good stuff on dave creates part on that front but not finding the kills is so huge and part of what makes inkling such a struggle to play because you can you can wall people out with back air all day until that back air is staler than an old bag of lace. But how yeah. do you get kills before 180? The other it, thing... Up there, up there, it's, it's a little bit tricky. The other thing is that it can be difficult. Uh, I know this can be difficult, but how the out-of-shield game. The out-of-shield game uh, from Dave Create, it felt like Slade was just putting on pressure. And yes, Yoshi can exert a lot of safe shield pressure but it felt like he was very consistently able to just on the platforms at point blank range just you know hammer away at that shield in the corner throw out these options that were both adding extra pressure to the shield and covering roll so if you are inkling what are your best out of shield options and really think about that maybe even just like getting a neutral air out of shield try to look for the openings in between where you might be able to actually pick that off um i mean yoshi Probably double jab, which I think we saw him doing. Uh, not safe on shield. All right, this is also an answer. Play a character with the sword. Um, <laughs> Yoshi does very, like a lot of those faster characters like Fox and Inkling, Yoshi does pretty well against because he can also play fast, you know, and kind of get re more reward even. Um, but the tide, like the, 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 the time old, problem with Yoshi is how he deals with this joint. How he deals with ooh, blazing edge after blazing edge. So Slade is a very good player and I'm really excited to see how he's going to adapt to this matchup. Can't, I don't think he's we'll see how he whether or not he can use platforms in the same way he did in that first but I would suspect he'd have to be a little bit more wary when being positioned above you know a pyro Especially with Dave catching on so readily, like, he's, his initial gambit, I suppose, was to cover the floor with these blazing edges, with these massive swings that gets him punished there, but, oh, I really like that. Like, forgot what I was talking about. The, the pummel until grab release and trying to uh, get the read on whatever Dave was mashing after the grab release, so smart from Slade, and it really evened up the percent count that was starting to slip away from him. Though swinging in with forward airs and swinging in with back airs, it only works well if your opponent doesn't have a disjoint, which is why we see the Pyra for pretty much the entirety of this game. A bigger sword, bigger range, bigger kill power. And if what Dave was having a trouble with was finding kills, Pyra will certainly ease, uh, ease his troubles in that front. Oh, yeah, the M lag of that move is much slower than you think it is. And we're seeing the struggles of Slade trying to get in. The fact that also started off, you know, taking a lot of damage, forcing him to be the one to approach. Uh, one thing, though, is that you could throw out more eggs. Um, you can throw out eggs from long range, especially the fact that Ira, very slow character. Um, she's not really going to be able to close the gap that very often, that, that quickly. Um, especially, I mean, with the exception, I guess, being Blazing Edge, but 
Um, even then, okay, you can just run under it, I suppose. And, hey, why not? <laughs> yeah. I mean, Yoshi, he, he, run, he runs with his nose to the ground. But, uh, okay, actually just run up down B, managing to outspace that aerial. Uh, the displacement from that move can be really key for, you know, both at hurt box shifts and then on top of it, it it's a very unique trajectory that it sends him at. All right. Close, closing out that stock, though, catching the land. That's honestly probably how I would expect most of the kills in this uh, in this matchup to go, is catching Yoshi. Thing. Uh, it's a sword character that's pretty much bread and butter for how you're going to get a lot of damage and extend disadvantage. Yeah, that's... It's always going to be the kryptonite of, of plenty of characters that, you, uh, that will just, like, poke and prod and try to get their try and have their way like it's it's impossible in fact to beat a disjoint with a, a non-disjointed move unless it you just flat out hit the button earlier which is why we're starting to see him approach with a lot more eggs than before and seeing so much reward come off of it dave now at ledge still goes with the neutral getup no jumps uh, okay very late mash <laughs> so, so that you can just wait it out yeah. like all right like that's Back fine <laughs> I don't even know how he managed to suss out the timing of when to go for that down B, but I guess after recognizing that there was no mash involved, just perfectly the uh, the Yoshi bomb. This is looking really, really good for Slater. And just running back and forth. God, yeah, Davis. <laughs> Dave is now starting to throw out uh, some Hail Marys, like these big, fully charged Flame Novas, these F Smashes. Yeah, certainly they are strong. They'll do plenty of damage, but Pyra and Mithra play a sort of, like, super top tier Lucina type of game where they don't have a lot of stuff that's, like, they just play neutral really well, whether it be in a lot of damage or a lot of speed or a lot of frame data, like, they have all of that. But it's not something where you can you can just overly abuse one or two options before you get caught by things like back air, and that's yeah that's gonna do it. Not only the jump was caught out, but the double jump. And Slade looked like he certainly had a beat on whatever Dave wanted to do in the in the latter half, and Dave looked like he was kind of checked out towards the end. Yeah, honestly, the adaptation from Slade, the beginning of that game, he was running into Blazing Edge a lot. He was kind of just getting hit by these. Ira aerials that were tending to wall him out. Um, and by the end, I think part of it is the fact that he ended up taking the lead, meaning he did not have to approach in the same way. Um, but the other part to this is that uh, he just adapted really well. Figured out what he needed to be doing, playing more patiently, throwing more egg, just outspacing the move post into them. Um, I think we're actually going to call for a quick break right now, but don't go anywhere because Tino 63 has only just gotten started. And as we, as I'm already seeing, there's so many matches that I'm excited to see for the rest of tonight. And uh, I'm sure you will be as well, but we'll be back in. <laughs> 